so more of a hustle mode. So clear communication and strategy is very, very important. So what, I mean, these points are more over what we are implementing right now for our clients. So uh, what we are doing right now is obviously results driven website. So what does that mean is a lot of you may have a website, right? You may have a website sitting there. I don't know, you know, what offer at the moment you have, perhaps that's something uh, you can think you can have a look uh, perhaps if you're just sitting there and it might be not not doing as much um, so what the best is 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 you know it might be there might be a time for you to retweak it make sure there are a couple of landing pays um, especially when you're talking about safety concerns uh, and when people are typing about dentist in wherever it might be in uh, it's let's say Bendigo Ballarat Melbourne uh, Brisbane or Gold Coast or wherever it might be. So those keywords are addressed properly. So what I'm saying is not in terms of the design wise, but whole, uh, but building in terms of the SEO wise is very, very important, uh, especially after COVID-19 because, you know, patients are looking for the, uh, looking, uh, looking for the best and the lowest cost. Simple as that. Best, price, uh, best service, best treatment in, in, a, in a much lowest price. So that's, that's what we have to accept it, whether we, we agree or we don't agree. That's, that's what we, are, we have to accept it. Uh, so a results driven website is very, very important. Now also perhaps there might be thing um, for you to consider whether you would add new packages uh, and pricing. And I, I hate to say that, look, because obviously our aim, I, you know, we position as a, as a really high, high practice where you can gross well, uh, but at the time the situation is a little bit different. So, uh, and obviously it's not, uh, what you think or what I think, it's all about what our patients think, what our viewers are thinking. So it's all about perhaps think to reconsider uh, about your different packages on different, uh, different things, you know, whether you may be uh, gap free, uh, you know, checkup or cleans or full checkups, uh, different price range, or, you know, you might having a uh, Invisalign or social sick. So probably pricing need to be consider, or I'm not saying reduced it, but just need to consider based on your demographic, based on your audience. Yeah. Now, second point, your one page marketing blueprint. Now, this is one of the best. Uh, I love that because, you know, every time I go to dental practices or dental, I talk with the multiple dental practice owners and they just say, look, oh, marketing. Yes, uh, we know there is. So we pay you know, money is going from the credit card. And then I ask, what's the plan? What's, what, are you, what are you doing for next month? And they have zero idea, no idea at all. So what does that also mean is make sure you have a very clear one page marketing plan um, blueprint, uh, which is very clear for your, uh, whoever is driving your marketing or, uh, or it's clear for you or for your staff. So it is very important that what, um, how we um, generating the new patients, if the patients are coming, what sort of the message they are going. So we all are on the same page. It's very important because so many times the leads are coming, but they are not following. That's another issue. But most of the time we also see the leads are not coming and they're just, you know, there's a report after report, all these marketing guys are sending, which is, which is, which is just the time waste. I, in my opinion, is because after all, you just need, you know, phones ringing, you need a new patients. Uh, and that's what we got to, you got to have a very clear blueprint, marketing blueprint. Now, third point, which I like the most. And when I was discussing with Padma, actually, what she is doing right now, one of her secret, I'm not sure if I, I hope that's okay. Uh, I can share this. But what she is also doing is local area marketing, uh, which means obviously we're attracting the uh, patients, obviously all the marketing, whatever the marketing tools you are using it, uh, that's fine. But other things is emphasize, we are, we're trying to, lowering the cost, which means approaching to your local marketing, like your local schools, local businesses, or medical center right there in the corner. So perhaps there might be a time for you to uh, rethink who are these peoples in local area around that, or there might be apartments, offices, I don't know where you are situated, but it's probably it's time to think about those within, you know, 10 to 15 K radius, uh, because most likely they are the one to come. So having that having that plan, marketing plan clearly targeted for that local area would be an easy way rather than, you know, I always use, you know, rather than use spray and pray, it doesn't really work because, and, and it costs you a lot. And especially now in this survival time, the idea here is to every dollar, every cent counts. So aim is to, uh, is to really do a marketing in such a way that it maximizes the return of investment. Yeah. 
Now, fourth point, email marketing SMS in your database. Now, every time I do a presentation with, uh, with, uh, with a number of uh, you know, master classes and with presentation with ADAVB, I get to hear a lot of time, every time when I ask dentists, like, what do you do in marketing? They just close the eyes and they blindly say, look, marketing uh, is Google. Google is, um, you know, we just paid for Google. So, really? And, 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 and the simple question I ask is how many, you know, how long you have been running this practice? And probably they might be running this for more than five years or seven years. And I understand if you're a new practice, if you're starting for one year, second year, I understand completely. Different tools, including Facebook, in, you know, Instagram or Google, I understand. However, those practices, they have got like, you know, five to seven years, they're already running there, you know, they're pretty much known in the area and they are not optimizing anything at all. So they are not leveraging their database, simple as that. So it's just they're sitting there maybe in the record or maybe in one of the, one of the dental for windows or one of the softwares it's sitting there, they are not leveraging. Only thing they are doing is they are just, you know, appointment reminder, that's about it, nothing much. So what we have been doing uh, in in last couple of weeks is, okay, look, let's bring out all those, you know, all those database, let's, let's see. Uh, how we can add value to these people, to these patients. And that's what we are focusing a lot on uh, in email marketing and SMS. So I'm not, I'm not saying here, look, bombard to all the audience, um, all the patients on every day, but idea here is to, again, those, um, those strategies need to be added on your blueprint marketing blueprint. So less is more. It's not about trying to do a hundred things uh, and just hoping for the best result, trying to do a couple of things, uh, which is within the control and you feel comfortable. I think that's the name of the game. Okay. Uh, now the fifth point is effective social media marketing. Again, that's an interesting one. Uh, and I see day in, day out, you know, a lot of dental practices. I sometimes I feel that the whole practice is just on Facebook. They just want to post, 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 post. And when I talk about, okay, you are posting, but I don't know. I can't see any reach out. And by the way, are you doing, when you're posting or if people are Googling, are you doing some holistic marketing? So what does that also mean? If someone is like, let's say if they are typing dentist in, right? And if they see in Google and if they, let's say they stop browsing the Google, right? And they come to their Facebook, is your ads following through? So is their banner ads coming through when they are in Facebook? And when I ask these all the questions, most likely the dentist would say, look, we just pay for an one company to post it and I don't know what they do. Um, yeah, you know, I'm just looking for a couple of likes and that's about it. But, so what does that also mean is that there is no tangible results. And as, as we discussed about when you can't measure the result, when you can't see the result, you can't measure it. And when you can't measure, it's just like, you know, you don't know where you're going. So, uh, and then every road is good. So idea here is to do a couple of channels and be effective. Uh, and, the, and, and it is a key to be effective, especially in this time in a survival state. Okay. So uh, that's, that's good. I hope you are, um, you are uh, getting it. So the key questions for you is, what is the one action you can take to protect your patients and business? So we're not looking about, you know, hundreds of things you want to do, obviously. And I, I hear that it's very hard time because a lot of the dentists, our clients, even, you know, they, you know, some of the associates dentists are not working so they are working so hard and you know if you you practice on i can get that so many stress already and i'm not here again to say okay Lou, do this do this do this perhaps it's time to think what is the one or two things you can do to protect your patient and your business because after all you know you have created this business for for the commitments and and all where you have done the hard yard so it's important to protect uh protect it uh, and it's something for you to think about okay all right, so let's move to the second stage. Um, okay, now on this stage, oh, also I wanna add, this is just came out actually, some of our um, clients, some of our mid-sized client, actually they asked, look Prabhupada, it's good, but you know, we are cutting some costs. I'm not sure we can afford marketing. I get that, I get that. And that's why we have created some packages, uh, which means perhaps either year, you know, when your dental associates are not working or they are just sitting or receptionist just sitting. What we can have also offered is we can, we have got this packages, different thing. Um, and then we can just give you like, let's say, you know, articles and, 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 and to be, to be honest, 
writing the articles and, and with EFRA guidelines and, and all this technical is not that easy unless you sit down and write it. And again, who knows whether that, that will, Google will like it or not. And it obviously needs to be a processive copywriting. It's not just a simple writing, right? Uh, so it is important. And what we have uh, come up is just some bundles offer for our clients. So a couple of articles, uh, social media post for a month. And I think we are also about for three months and doing for some of our clients. So uh, that's one. Also, we have come up with about 10 to 15 videos on this. Uh, you can download straight. So, you know, it's in a very, very nominal price. Uh, so uh, funnel, funnel, you can still hold on as well, as long as you are targeting some high level patients. Uh, and some uh, short videos, um, yeah, and the referrals, um, like what we discussed about for local business. If you think it's a, it's a relevant, and uh, if you wanna obviously save the cost and you know do in house, if you have someone there to do it, then probably this may can help. But my aim is to okay to make your life easy so that you focus on what you focus on because already there's a lot of things going on. Uh, so you know, and and obviously you need to play, um, you need to, you know, play the play. So idea here is to get something so that at least the patients can see, they can activate and you can be engaged with your patients. So to book more appointments. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's go to the sustainable stays. Uh, now just a quick one. Are we, are we good with the time? Are we all on, on time? Yep. Okay, good. All right. Sustainable stays, um, clear communication strategies. Here as well, what I, I, I believe is a 90 days marketing communication action plan is very, very important. And one of the things which I feel, I, I'm, I feel very proud with the team is uh, what we have been doing from last about 18 months is every, I mean, I'm not sure whether you, know, you are our clients, but if you would, we have got a specific weekly reporting. So we not just send a monthly, I mean, a lot of the marketing companies, what they do, is they just send a monthly report Oh, this is the SEO. I mean, and who knows? I mean, where the clicks is coming from. But I mean, but that's not good enough for us. So we, we actually offer every week, week by week. And sometimes it's a hassle. I get that because we don't just are busy, and that's what we do after hours on all those things. But the point I'm trying to say is, you need to have a clear marketing action plan with clear results on a week by week basis. We can't afford for fortnightly even. That's what I believe on. So. Uh, and I think it would be hard if you have this kind of conversation with your marketing guy. It must be hard. I don't know. So perhaps um, this time it is important to understand week by week basis to get in touch, um, uh, get in touch and create a clear marketing action plan. Now, second point, compelling offer and patient segmentation. I love this, uh, you know, not only just creating some you know, some very competitive or a very affordable price like $87 or, you know, whatever it might be, free, gap free checkup and clean. But also it is important uh, to understand who these patients are. Uh, and what does that sometimes means is not because a lot of time we only focus on new patients, new patients, new patients. That's fine. No problem. Right. But if you are already five to seven years, if you're already running the dental practice, then most likely, um, you know, it is important to have uh, to have uh, to have a clear segmentations where these peoples are. I mean, you know, to instance, so, you know, in last three years, let's go to last three to five years, we have done a full checkup and cleans. Um, you know, let's find out. Um, so have they done? Are they coming up regularly? Let's find out up on the ladder. Let's find out who, you know, which patients have done an Invisalign or, or braces, or, you know, any treatment plan they have done. Um, have they done anything? Um, or, you know, some of them patients may have done, um, you know, just a, just a regular treatment. They may not have uh, fully completed their treatment plans. So that's also the, uh, also might be uh, just sitting there. So perhaps activate those is very, very important. Especially what I would do is what I have been suggesting to a lot of our clients is segmentation. So, you know, through the, your postcode. So if you're, let's say 3000 or 5000, whatever the postcode is, segment is, uh, where these uh, high-end patients are coming from, what sort of the postcodes. So if I would you, what I will do is, okay, so let's find out from last three years, uh, 3,000 postcode, right, which is Melbourne CVD, which, you know, which patients are coming in last three and, on, and what sort of the treatments have they done, you know, let's say in um, Smiles Make or Implants, Crown, Vineyards, have they done anything? 
So I'll go on, on that segmentation and go from backtracking those patients. So we know clearly uh, uh, activating those patients. Now, second thing, what I would also be doing is once you know that segmentation clearly, perhaps you all your ads, you can also make it very focused uh, on that particular postcode, uh, on that particular uh, service. So, and, and obviously add some compelling offer. If you are obviously, um, you know, attracting smiles makeover, let's say in this instance, then something along, look, um, you know, 15 minutes, quick, quick, um, quick telehealth um, or teledentistry or quick, you know, quick, uh, quick checkup. Uh, so it doesn't cost you. So the whole idea here is to uh, attract them, uh, attract them and uh, give a, a, and, and, and value to them. Uh, Third point, tapping existing and inactive patients. I think we have briefly touched on uh, the existing patients. So it's very important, you know, it's not about always a new, 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 new. And what I believe is business is within the business. Uh, uh, and that's what, you know, either in my business or the clients I work with, I truly believe that, um, you know, you've got to look after your patients. You've got to look after your clients, simple as that. There is no any you know, quick fix here. So tapping to existing, existing client, existing patient, because after all, you know, you know, what? after all, if they are happy, they are the one to refer you, right? They are, and especially in dental uh, spaces, patients, you know, patients, one patient, the idea here is to one patient, if you really serve them, if the marketing and communications go as well, one patient have a really potential to bring you three to five patients very easily. Uh, and that's what we believe on. So tap, and you've got to tap that existing and inactive patients and find out what is a couple of things you can do to activate them. Yeah, very important. Uh, and it doesn't cost a lot. You know, I'm not talking about $12, $15 Google Ads campaign. We're talking here is a simple thing, a couple of hours, and obviously you have to create some program, create the action plan, but that's what um, will, will move the needle. Um, fourth point, new patients campaign. Google and Facebook. Now you might be surprised why I add that. Uh, I'm not saying you don't do in a sustainable stage, you do it. But in terms of uh, here is where we're talking about a little bit high end services uh, in 2021. So think about that as well. Perhaps um, some campaigns in Google and Facebook um, and, and attracting those patients based on different seasons, different timeline is very important. Um, is, uh, is, is important. Now, Fifth, team training. Obviously, you know, if you would find someone like us or someone or your trusted marketing, whoever is doing your marketing, I mean, they are generating leads. And I see day in, day out, one of the problems is generate so much leads, a quality leads. And when, uh, you know, and then the speed, we don't, we don't find a couple of challenges we see. We don't find, you know, following them quickly. If they ring, I mean, obviously no one is there to pick up the phone. So, and, and the team is not aware what sort of the campaigns we are running. So literally there is like, there is no, not much, everyone is not on the same pace. So it's important when the marketing and communication, it also means it's not you or your marketing guy. It's also about your team uh, because, you know, after all, it's a team who drives your dental practice. So it's important to, to have them all in a one pace. So think about that as well. Perhaps, um, you know, there might be some team training, um, you may need in a due course. Yeah. Okay. So the questions, key questions for you to, uh, for you to think is uh, what is the effective plan, effective plan and commitment to market your service responsibly. So 2021 uh, is all about plan and commitment uh, because obviously if you plan well, that's where the uh, growth happened. That's where the scale happened. And, 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 and slowly people will get, uh, get get the confidence, but that's where you would have a clear plan and you have, have a plan of attack. All right. Um, I hope you add, um, yeah, I can see a number of questions here. Perhaps let me continue this. All right. Okay. Scalable stage. So this is where the growth comes in and that's where, uh, you know, people, uh, dentists or dental practice owners are looking for more profits. Uh, they're thinking about how I can scale from three to five tiers or five to seven tiers or how I can open up uh, in another locations or perhaps you might be thinking multi uh, multi practices. Uh, so it's a matter of uh, rethinking that. Um, and and what I'm talking here is uh, patient's experience. Uh, I'm sure Padma have briefly touched on automations and, um, you know, whether, I mean, I know automation 
create, you know, automation, remove a lot of the jobs, I understand, but that's where the world is heading. So you, whether you agree or whether you accept or not, it's what happening in the next couple of years. Uh, so idea here is to how you can automate. The whole name of the game is to patient's experience. So some of the systems and processes, uh, it is important to create that some of when patients comes, you know, before the patients comes, what sort of the emails or SMS goes, once they come, um, in just in in half an hour or in a, an hour or so in next 24 hours, what is the emails goes, or uh, if they if if they haven't seen for a couple of a couple of weeks or a month or two, what sort of the what sort of the emails or SMS goes? The all idea here is to experience is uh, is very important in terms of marketing and communication, and same applies even if you are doing uh, just the just the normal uh, teeth whitening or if you are doing a high um, you know, treatments, uh, high level treatments. Uh, so experience is the must and obviously uh, in scalable, uh, you know, dental practices must need to focus on system and processes, uh, team trainings and those sort of things. Second point is referral marketing. I could not um, address high enough uh, how referrals is important. Uh, so it's, it's all about understanding the end game. After all, you all need is, uh, you know, patients, referring to uh, three or four or five patients and being they have been very loyal uh, and they have been uh, so doing the good service doing the uh, good treatment is not just good enough uh, because that's what I, I, I see you know dentists are just focused on the good service that's good but how can you really difference from other dentists just on the, um, up across the road from and, and then you how can you really different it's the same same from the patient's perspective so it's all about that experience it's all about the marketing and communication and that's what once they figure out okay so um you know uh, this is how they are different this is uh, they are clear on the point of difference about your dental practice and that's where the ref real referral kicks in otherwise if you're same same it's like you know apple apple you know you don't know which apple so sometimes they go here sometimes they go here so it's important to give that clear factor to differentiate so you have a clear unique selling proposition, a point of difference, if you like. Okay. Our third point is uh, joint ventures with local business. We briefly touched on, um, on um, survival state, but scalable also joint venture is so important within the local business, local communities, um, whether your business, whether your dental practice is in medical centers or uh, it might be in any, any local community. It's very important to have that joint ventures um, because after all, it's a business, it's a community we care for. Um, and um, so if you have those joint ventures really going on well, uh, I believe it is a win-win, a win for them, win for you and win for your patients because after all, it's a peace of mind for them. Okay, so um, the fourth point is ads and tactical lead generation campaign, high value patients. So I'm not sure straight away now, people are looking for the high, high, value, uh, high value, it's, it's yet to say. Uh, but moreover, on scale level, people are really looking about, you know, social smiles, makeover, implants, or crowns, or they might be doing for some of these, uh, some, you know, some of the other other high value um, treatments. So in that case, all the ads and uh, lead generation need to be very tactical, which I'm sure we will go on another masterclass, or if we are running of other seminars, we'll more than happy to deep dive. But for now, is cost saving. That's what we are looking for. Uh, so dental marketing funnel, that's again another automation tool, uh, which we have uh, introduced as well. And we are adding to a number of our clients just before COVID-19, but perhaps now it's all reset. So our aim, the name of the game is to obviously uh, low cost and maximize return. So key questions here for you is how can you lead in your community as a go-to dentist or trusted dental advisor? 